some other purpose for my life. You have not left the church in days. The stench offends even God's nose. I have been looking at this scripture for hours. God is giving me a sign. If only I could see it. See his light. A sign? God in heaven, give him a sign. Set him on his true path, far away from me. Yes, illuminate me, oh Lord, illuminate me. What troubles you? God will speak to me, I know it. He will show me my true path. God's light will show him his path. Maybe I can illuminate the lectern somehow to seize his prattling. Your meaning is unclear, God of Gods. Please, there must be some other purpose for my life. You are the light of the world. So do these rays mean something? I must throw off the shackles of brotherhood. I will dedicate my life to glorifying God through another. Hmm. My account must be one of utmost grace, exhaustive, immortalizing the great acts of the prodigal Alfred. Oh, thank you, Lord. I will write a blessed manuscript praising Alfred and his great work. So, I've set him on a path to glorify Alfred, that pompous Saxon. I hope his writing reeks as much as he does. Sessionum in Pomnoltime in session. Dom ist. Ich stehe verstanden. 
On Mare Verga, have he asked for the archbishop? He will not on steel. Ah, Halia Hippaban. on the other side.
Alfred's man. Who rules in Winchester anyway? Is Alfred king or not? Well, you ain't, that's for sure. So keep your mouth shut and do as you're told. Shut your mouth, yeah? Unless you want yours to rot off in the keep. Goodwin gone. Guards sniffing around. So where would they have taken him? Someone disagrees with Alfred, educating the people of Winchester. Papers thrown in the fire. Goodwin covering his tracks. Other guards destroying evidence. There must be a garrison in the city. A violent struggle with the guards. They must have taken him to Winchester's garrison. <laughs> they will attack on sight here. Be careful now. Stay awake.
The prisoners might know something. trees chiseling rock from the earth and for what to build more prisons for men who steal apples bless you i was starving my baby son close to death would you not steal to save your child i am looking for the reeve selwyn that bastard said I stole an apple. He'll see me hang for it. Not Selwyn. Reeve Goodwin was arrested not long ago. Alfred's man? Arrested? Now that's as funny as a dose of the pox. Seems no one is free in Winchester. Strike for us! 
thick walls and thicker guards. A place to keep a valuable man. Selwyn ordered executions for petty theft and mudslinging. A husband and wife to be carried out soon. against the Order of Ancients. Stolen from Goodwin? Dane in Winchester. These are strange times. King Alfred sent me, pleading from his bended knee to find someone. I know Alfred well enough to spot a bloody lie when I hear it. If he did send you, he was standing tall and proud. That he was, and you are the man I've come to find, Goodman. Do you know why? If I had one guess, to find these heretics from the Order of Ancients, and bury them so deep, even God would need a shovel. So where do we start digging? My research should help us. If they haven't burned it already, it'll be somewhere nearby. I have your papers here, taken from the captain of this keep. A marvel. History will name you the protector of Winchester. A pricking irony. And not lost on me. Now let us go before they discover their eel has slipped the hook. Let's regroup beyond the walls!
I am grateful for your help. It is a brazen move to arrest Alfred's favorite Reeve. This so-called order are nothing but deviled shit peddlers. Shit peddlers who have wormed their way into every crevasse of your country. They are dangerous. I didn't catch your name, did I? Eivor of the Raven Clan. Scourge of Mercia, if that name does not rattle some recognition. Well, Eivor, when our three heretics smolder on a heap of ash, we'll down a cup of ale together and share our distaste of Mercians like old friends. Alfred believes at least one is dead. Your bishop, Aelfirth, was the six. Bugger. Half of Winchester is in mourning for that nun groper. I found this nailed on a door. The quill wheels words like a knife. A disputation of tutelage. Pretty chatter with poisoned intent. I will look into this more. The gallows. What do you know of him? Must be another reeve, I'm sure of it. Only we have the power to mete out justice. And this one would walk with cocksure righteousness. Is Selwyn a name you know? He seems to have judged and executed many for little more than stealing ale and bread. Of course. That hedge pig has brought down laws like a hammer on Winchester, executing sinners on spurious charges in the square. Could it be another? He's the man. He's the only one who fits. End his terror, Eivor.
Lord works in mysterious ways, taking his servant in so terrible a fire. Bishop Aylford was no man of God. Hush, someone has hanged men for better thoughts. Good people of Winchester, open your eyes. See how Alfred's lofty ideals are weighed down in this mire of human effluence. These prisoners before you do not live by Alfred's laws. They live above them. They wallow in shit, only guided by their own perversity. Hubert here, his wits addled by ale, spoke false of Bishop Aylforth, our pious servant of Winchester, who even now lies cold in his grave shroud. Aylforth was no man of God. He'll burn for his sins. Your wife is obeying shrew, Hubert. Is there a man here who has not supped rancid mead from her cup? When will your work be done, Selwyn? When all of Winchester falls to your justice? Winchester has passed judgment, Hubert. May God have mercy on your cankerous soul. <laughs> <laughs> There are rats in the grain store, and Alfred has set the traps. You cannot steal and be welcome at our hearts. You cannot slander and keep your tongue. You cannot walk freely through our streets, mocking our laws, our king's edicts. And so I ask, who has the right to determine the fate of the perverse if not the goodly people of Winchester? I am but your humble servant. Leona, you have been found guilty of harlotry and defamation. May God have mercy on your pockmarked soul. Perverter of justice, who dares execute the king's noose? It is not in Alfred's name that you carry out your work. You are the Order's executioner. <laughs> you peer through the veil, but you do not see clearly. Alfred's laws are a slave's fever dream. He offers shit-soaked beggars a seat at his table where the meek devour the strong. Who best to judge the fate of the wretched many, if not the strong and worthy few? To protect your people, you must sheathe your hand in an iron glove. You grind your heels into the backs of freedmen, not those who deserve it. The Order condemns all men to pain. For all men are but a shadow of the perfection we should know. The perfection of the Ancient Ones. You are only a man, Reed. One dead branch on a fast-dying tree. I 
I should meet with Goodwin. See what he. I should meet with Goodwin, see what he has found on the quill. Selwyn is dead. His lies poisoned everyone against us, and for what? Some only care for their own power and position. I'm sorry I could not save your husband. My son is not an orphan today. Oh, you did more than enough. from rattling skulls, rattle these bones instead, eh? You! You look thirsty as a flaming fish! Drink faster than me, you win the purse! Let's see the shimmer of your silver, friend! Now that's a prize! We drink! Care to test your skill at all? And the men look for Dino. Nolan is one. Puz on your way to swear there. Staggering already? Someone your boots. You going to start? Be kissing a flagstone soon. City. A worthy challenger. Play me. I need my daily entertainment. <laughs> Let us begin. You just made my day, stranger. Let's have at it. Do you?
How about that? You are really good at this. Yeah. Interesting. This will do.
game. Well played, stranger. Another round. Another time, perhaps.